Hello everybody, this is Tucker Miller here again, and tonight, like I said, for my next movie review, I'm going to be reviewing on Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. Came out in 2002. So the plot of this movie is, we got this horse named Spirit. He was, he was raised by his mother, and then, then... He grew up and he became the leader of the, um, Hood. Something like that. But, however, years later, he got captured by these people from the American Indian Wars. And then, and then he met this guy named Whittle Creek. Then, him and Whittle Creek got along, Spirit and Whittle Creek got along quite well. And then, and then... Whittle Creek wants to send Spirit free, and then, and then, then how, then, Whittle, and then Spirit met this horse named Wayne, and him, Spirit and Wayne had fallen in love, and then, and all of that, and then, yeah. So it's up to Spirit to find his way home, and that's basically what the plot is. Now, what do I have to say about Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron? I really enjoy this movie. That's right, I really do enjoy this movie a lot. I even rewatched this movie like, I think two hours ago or something like that, but yeah. I did re I did rewatch this movie like today, this evening. So, yeah. And I have to say, I really enjoyed it. It is, and I have to say, this is definitely, definitely one of the last hand-drawn animated movies. Now, it's kind of rare to see a hand-drawn animated movie. We don't get that, we don't get so many of them anymore. But, yeah... Nowadays, we get CGI animated movies, but yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed Spirit. The story is great. The, the animation is really good in this. And yeah. I really enjoyed this film. I really enjoyed it. Did Now, let's talk about the characters of this movie. Spirit, which is this character, which is our main character, Spirit, he's a great character. I like Spirit. And then we got, and, Whittle Creek, which is this character. I like Whittle Creek, he's a great character. And, and Wame, Wame. She's an adorable character. Wayne is, Wayne is an, an adorable character. And I have to say, Spirit, I really love the relationship between Spirit and Wayne. They're a really adorable couple. Probably DreamWorks, DreamWorks most adorable couple. Like I said, Wally and Eve are the... Or Pixar's most adorable couple, and Di and Disney's most adorable cup couple is will have to be Lady and the Tramp. So yeah, so yeah, Lady and the Tramp probably Disney's most adorable couple. Pixar, Wally and Eve, and Spirit Stallion and DreamWorks. Spirit and Wayne. So, yeah. Those... So, yeah. I already reviewed on Wally when I reviewed on all the Pixar films leading out to Inside Out 2. And I will review on Lady and the Tramp probably around next year when I review on all the Disney animated films leading out to Zootopia 2. So, yeah. So now, now back to Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. So yeah, like I said, Wayne is an adorable character. Love the, 
the relationship between Spirit and Wayne. The villain, which is this character, he's a decent villain. I mean, he had given up. He had given up his twin. And yeah, he had given up his twin. Plan of killing Spirit and Wayne. I mean, no, not Wayne. Widow Creek, sorry. He had get the villain. This, the I forgot the villain's name is, but but if you guys what if you guys know what his name is, please let me know in the comments below. And yeah, so yeah, he has given up his plan to kill Spirit and Widow Creek. He has given up on it. So. Yeah, as you saw in the, if you have seen this movie, you probably know what I mean. But yeah, really enjoying this movie, and and I'm just realizing this. The critic review on this VHS says, from well, I cannot pronounce it, but one of the critic reviews says, best animated story since The Lion King. Is it? I, I wouldn't think so, but, yeah, Lion King is another great Disney, is another great animated movie, but again, I'll review on that one probably next year, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, really enjoying Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, it's a really cute movie, a very cute movie. Now let's talk, so yeah, those are the characters I can think of top of my head. Some scenes in this movie, if I had to think of a scene, I really like the ending. The ending was great, and, and, yeah, a lot of scenes in this movie are great. So yeah, and this movie does have a really good soundtrack, I have to say. This movie has a really good soundtrack. Like, some of the songs I only remember are Here I Am and Get and Get Off of My Back, if, if that's the name of that one, of one of them. Those are the only two songs I can think of, of Get Off of My Back and Here I Am. But yeah, this movie has a really good soundtrack. And yeah. Great soundtrack to this film, and yeah. Yeah, really enjoying this movie, like I said. I first watched this movie back in 2022. So yeah, I got in this VHS back in 2022. I believe I got this VHS tape at an, at an estate sale. Back in, back in, I want, back in 2020, a couple years ago. And yeah, and I watched it, and then, and I actually enjoyed it, and I, we watched this movie, like, this evening, I rewatched it this evening, and, and it still holds up, so, yeah, really enjoyed Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, again, great characters, great story, great animation, great climax, great soundtrack, everything about this movie is really good. Really good. And there's also like a like a spin-off movie called Spirit Untamed that came out in 2021. Which it might I haven't seen that movie, but it might be okay. I heard it's not one of the greatest. But I might check it out so I can review on it, do a video on it. But yeah. I haven't, so yeah, like I said, I I have never seen Spirit Untamed yet, but I will, I'll probably do it at some point. Like I said, I'm trying to watch every single DreamWorks film leading out to the wild robot, so yeah. So yeah, Spirit Untamed, I believe is based on that, like, show on, that one show on Netflix. I haven't seen that show, but it, I don't. It didn't look that interesting to me, but I'll check out Spirit Untamed 
10. It might be okay. I'm not sure it will be a review or went, but yeah. But Spirit staring at the Cimarron, I really enjoyed this movie. So, yeah. That's all I can say about Spirit staring at the Cimarron. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna give Spirit staring at the Cimarron a 10 out of 10. Cannot think of any flaw with this movie. So, yeah. So anyways, that is it for my movie review on Spirit Staring at the Cimarron. And stay tuned for my next movie review, which will be on Sinbad and the Legend of the Sea. But until then, see you in the next video. Bye.